Question, the pandemic has affected all of us. As COVID restrictions drag on, many of us are dragging as well. A woman in Grand Forks is spreading joy in the best way that she knows how. Valley News team Stacy Van Dyke has her story. Yep. We started around like Friends. Misty Kaufman has a unique job. And we're opening up just as everything else was shutting down. She opened a balloon shop in a pandemic. As things were shutting down, I was extremely worried and I thought, why did I feel pushed um, by God to kind of have an urgency of getting this open and, and do it when he was just going to shut everything down. Despite opening in late March, her business is thriving. People need good things. But lately, Misty has been occupied with one project in particular. Loneliness and depression have massive effects on people's health um, and especially on the senior citizens. She calls them buddies. The idea was to get them to nursing home residents, but it couldn't be just a few. We don't want anybody, you know, possibly passing by somebody else's room and seeing some extra love and knowing what's going on and, and not feeling um, that they're included in that. Then came the issue of how to pay for them. That's where the community stepped in. This week, community members adopted all 65 residents here and all 11 here. They become like children. Their eyes light up. Um, a lot of them have not seen things like this ever in their lifetime. And today is her first delivery day. In doing this, that we can deliver a lot of smiles today. As you can imagine, the display turned out to be impressive. And the reception was even better. I love the foam baby. And I hold up as much as I can. Because it won't cry, won't break. Um, and it smiles, got nice eyes. Making her community a better place. There isn't anything that I don't like about this balloon baby. One buddy at a time. They are beautiful and they just make your day. In Grand Forks, Stacy Van Dyke, Valley News Live. And Misty is not stopping there. Now she's working on getting all 170 seniors at Valley Senior Living on Columbia adopted. That's her most ambitious project yet. And once that's done, she says, it's on to the next location.